Good morning, everyone. Um, or good evening, depending on what time zone it is for you. For me, though, it's 11 a.m., but it feels like 8 a.m. Um, we're playing What Remains of Edith Finch today, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> um, I've had this game in my library for, like, quite a while now. Um, but haven't played it because I've heard it's, like, all about how people, different people have died. And so I was like, is this gonna be kind of like a horror game? Or is it like, cause I can't do horror, but um, I don't think it is. I think it's just kind of like a dark humor, eerie, atmospheric kind of thing. Um, hopefully there aren't any jump scares because that would suck. <laughs> um, I know like Big Bird has played it um, a long time ago. So that's kind of neat too. Um, let's see. Okay, let's get started. My camera's kind of facing down a little, a little much. There you go. If I wear fox ears, like you won't be able to see them. Um, turn this off. The music for the game is very. At least right now, you probably can't hear it at all, but it's like piano, which is quite nice. I love piano music. Um, okay, let's get started. As soon as I tab into the game. It looks like I can play controller because it's lighting me, so we're going to do that. But I kind of want to... Oh, I can't look at controls. Okay. I wanted to see if I could look at controls, but... Whatever. It's fine. Um, as always, if audio is too loud or anything, just let me know. I can adjust. And uh, yeah. I hate first person. Can I interact with things? Oh, okay. I can zoom in. Both of those zoom in. Left trigger and bumper. Can I move around? Oh, we have a journal. Can I interact with this journal? Okay. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you, and I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. She's very quiet compared to the rest of the game. Can I fix that? Okay, let's do that. Oh, I hate first person stuff. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Really? That's kind of weird. Purple flower. Really stands out. Okay, so that's my interact button. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. Okay. We're not going to open them, though. We're just going to leave them. Can we take the newspaper? No? Okay. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Can I just push my way through? Okay, cool. Oh, I love that effect. And the letters are still here. That's neat. I like that. It's a very cool effect. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Is this the right way? I don't know. This feels like the wrong way, but I'm going to go this way anyway. Fuck do I go? The truth is Okay, this is correct, I guess. Even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Okay. The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. 
As woods are about to say something, but never do. As woods tend to be. Can we interact with this at all? No. I guess it kind of gives you a little, little prompt if you can. Missing? Lovely. I love piano music. This is great. Basketball hoop. The house was exactly like I remembered it. The way I'd been dreaming about it. Go up this way. Through the garden. What a crazy looking house. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Yeah, because it's creepy. And nothing matches. It looks like there's just one room and it was just continuously built upon with different styles by different people. Now, as a 17 year old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Can you like inherit stuff when you're that young? I thought you had to like it gets held for you until you reach age of maturity. Go around the side. Can we go on this way? No. Okay. I heard something moving around in the garage. I feel like we should leave. Oh, we don't have a key. So I'm guessing the key is in the garage. I swear to God, if there are jump scares in this game, I'm going to be fucking pissed. Oh wait, is that just like, can I crouch normally? No. Crawling through the doggy door used okay. to be a lot easier <laughs> when I was 11. I'm sure it was. How do you fit through? I mean, I guess it is kind of a big doggy door. A lot of chemicals and paint, which makes sense because there's a lot of different types of paint on this house. Very much like a key. Hmm. I see. Can we open the garage? Yes, we can. The power had been turned oh, off. Oh, never mind. You left. For the first time in years. I felt like I was home. Oh, that's kind of sweet. But instead of a family, they were just memories of one. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. <laughs> Except our cat, Molly. Are we gonna see a cat die? Oh god, that better not happen. What kind of cake is- oh, it's an apple pie? Okay. Neat. Or how only one restaurant would deliver to our house, so we had Chinese a lot. I can't believe a, a restaurant would even consider delivering to their house, to be honest. You must got one hell of a delivery charge. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. <laughs> there was just Are you sure? too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. I guess so.
great grandpa Sven builds a music box for Sven. Barbara. Along with the rest of the house. Who's Barbara? Let's go to the front room if we can. No, it looks like it's locked or something. Yeah, okay. Tasting Thailand. I love Thai food. Can we unlock this now? No. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Okay. Let's not go upstairs yet. Let's continue this way first. Oh, we need a key. I mom guess. always told me to stay out of the basement. Oh, so we have a key. I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Oh. Okay. Well then. Nothing to interact with there. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. After it sank. Oh, that's cool. I like that. That's a neat little effect. Is there anything to interact with? Can we open the box? The table was still a wreck from the night we left. I think the thing I don't like about first people or first person perspective is like I feel like I can't see everything and I like to be able to see everything. You it was know? like a bomb had Which is the point, I guess. Killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Oh. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine great grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Okay. I guess we do go upstairs, yeah? There's so many things. Oh, box. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Hmm. I don't like how closed up this door is, you know? Why is there insulation along the sides of it? I don't know. That's a little suspicious. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. <laughs> Am I supposed to go this way? Is that a hint? I feel like that's a hint. Oh, we can go here, though. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Will this open this up? It will. Okay. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Oh. That's an interesting contraption. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Oh. Stained glass. I love stained glass. I have a stained glass rose, actually, that... I was given when I was really, really young by a friend's mom. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. Really? Um, also, that's really creepy. I don't like that. Um, yeah, I was given a stained glass rose when I was really, really, really young. And I still have it. It's very sweet. I don't have it up but or I anything. I had no idea but... what was behind that door. Okay. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. Saving. Okay, so there's like a lake or ocean or something there. It's neat. Fox? Fox! 
Fox, fox, fox. Molly. Wasn't Molly the cat? I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. I guess not. Maybe the cat was named after her one. I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Molly. Hamster? Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Me? I guess we can just go out the door, but can we not? No, we can't interact with that. Okay. Uh, anything else? Can we sit? Oh, there we go. We found it. No, 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 no. Interact with that, please. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving. So I looked around for something to eat. Do we experience everyone's deaths? Is that what's happening? Are we just all gonna die horrible deaths throughout this entire game? Because that sucks. <laughs> but goldfish. Goldfish. Thought about. I thought about eating Christopher, ah! but I held back. Poor Christopher. I mean, poor us, but like, yikes! I know it wants me to go see the the um probably food pellets from the gerbil's cage, but hello, shooter. How's it going? Thank you for the follow the other day. Hey, Beckett. <laughs> People are coming in all of a sudden. How's it going? Love this game? Cool. Um, I've never played it. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. I mean, I guess that's that's a carrot, so you know that's good. But, um, please don't eat gerbil food. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. Hey, uh, it's going good? Feeling sleepy? Me too, man. It's like 11.30 a.m. for me right now, but it feels like it's like 8.30. It's, I'm really tired. <laughs> um, so we ate a carrot. Oh, okay. I kept eating and eating. Please don't eat toothpaste. Oh god. I ate a lot of things that night. Uh huh. Okay. Then I heard chirping outside my window. I'm like, I'm so tense because I don't know what to. Barn swallow going back to her nest. I don't know what to expect. Like, I've been told there's no, like, jump scares, but I feel like there'll be jump scares. I think it might also just be because I'm in th first person. I out for her. And, like, I don't play first person games. And suddenly... What? I was a cat. Wait, what? <laughs> Can I look down and see my paws? No. Can I see my tail? No. Can we just chase our tail? Can I jump? Oh yes, I can. Can I fall off I the ledge? To be shy, but the bird was really scared. Well, yeah, it's being chased by a cat. 
Where'd it go? There it is. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. I mean, if I saw a cat directly outside my bedroom window on a second or third story, I would probably look at it. I jumped and I almost got her. Where are we going? Oh! <laughs> kind of missed there. I could tell she was getting really tired. Mm. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. But like you're now a cat, so like who cares? I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. What? Okay. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Oh. oh, oh okay. Okay, I can't. Oh, I can move. Okay. Where? Oh, okay. Oh god. No, come on. Get the rabbit. <laughs> Poor little rabbit. I imagine his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. Then I flew off to find something bigger. Okay. Okay, so we're still diving then. A mama rabbit. Oh, I thought I missed it. Okay. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. What? Okay. We're a shark in the forest. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was really... bounce you can nudge yourselves over okay there we go <laughs> I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean that was pretty silly now I was hungrier than ever oh god into the ocean freedom <laughs> Okay. Oh, I think we went too far. Oh, this is so... Oh, I hate first person. Where'd it go? We lost it. Well, that's an issue. <laughs> oh, I see it. There we go. I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. I will say that rolling through the forest like that was really funny. <laughs> there we go. I grabbed on tight. When I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Ew, what am I? Ew, I'm like a tentacle thing? 
What the fuck? Ew, I hate that. Now I was a That's so gross. Smelled people out there. go under? Is there a point in me going this way? I was big, but I moved real quiet. Ew! <laughs> That's really gross. what it is about like tentacles I wanted and stuff. To stop, but also I did it. But it's just so gross. <laughs> Are you sure that's how that song goes? If so, that's really strange. smell went into an old pipe. Okay. Ew, 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 no, ew. <laughs> This is our bedroom, isn't it? We're gonna eat ourselves? We totally are. <laughs> All my stomachs. All my stomachs started growling. Oh, it faded out. Okay. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. That's super creepy. My god. Okay. It didn't actually show her death, though, so that's. I'm kind of relieved about that. <laughs> I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Okay. Interesting. Do we leave now? No? I can't describe it, but I felt like some part of Molly was still here. That's not good. <laughs> I don't know if we want Molly to be here still. <laughs> I want to know, I want to go out this way. Can we just go back this way? No? Are we not done in this room? Oh, I see. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. You know? So, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. 
I see. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. She had a lot of birds, I see. Oh, she has pictures of the birds. That's really sweet. Oh, because she likes to paint. Pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Very Almost cracking. Like a museum. Oh, for next 500 one. years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Uh, you know what this is reminding me of? Um, a series of unfortunate events. The kids book. Well, very dark kids series. <laughs> um, that was quite a series. I was really into those as a kid. Um... And then they made that Netflix show, and I just could not get into it at all, which was too bad, but the books were really good. Oh, okay, that's all. Is that really all? There's not more? Let me, let me try the interaction button again before that. There we go. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. Yikes. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter, Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore in their new home. Orcas Island. Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Hmm. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Mysteries of death and thereafter. Oh, I haven't finished looking around the room yet, though. Lots of perfume and stuff. A lot of pills. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. <laughs> I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. Mm -hmm. Molly Concepts. What else do these say? Lake Trip, Photo Award... Conspiracy now. Home movies. Something about a ceremony. Probably a grad ceremony. Um. Unsure about the bottom one? My friend Bigfoot. Random junk interview. <laughs> Built 1937. Neat. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. Ah. Uh, she could have, but she didn't. I like Edie. Edie's cool. She's so fun. <laughs> mm, okay, nothing to interact with, I guess. Okay. Even in her 90s. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. <laughs> Some people are just like that. They're just like so youthful, even when they're super old. It's really cool. 
Whoa, that is some carpet. Whoa! The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife, <laughs> Kay, left on the house was the pink bathroom. Yikes! That is very it was a pink. Big trace. Damn. We cannot see ourselves. Hey, Yoshi. Look, Edie too. Edie's awesome. I have a relative who kind of reminds me of her. Just very quirky and I don't know, interesting. How are you, Yoshi? Found another book. There's a secret in the bathroom. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. That's neat. I like that. So many secrets in this house. Calvin Finch. A swing. A deer. Something. Well, just enjoying my breakfast? Very nice. What are you eating for breakfast today? Calvin Finch. A uh, man? <laughs> Sven gave Sam the oh. camera he'd refurbished. I see. He never put it down. Until he died, and then he did. Milton. Uh, couple turns land into Naven. native haven. Okay. Curry? Very nice. Should make curry sometime. It's been a while since I've made curry. I have this, like, urn orange uh, soy sauce stir fry thing that I've made before. It's really good. I should make that again. Uh, the Finch clan are very interesting people um it rem this whole game reminds me very much of a series of unfortunate events by oh what's the author um i think the author's name is like an alias though let me see sorry i need to it's gonna bug me if i don't know series of lemony snicket lemony snicket Yeah, that's what it is. Lemony? Lemony? I think it's Lemony, right? Series of unfortunate events. Lemony Snicket. But the actual author is Daniel Handling. Handler. Yeah, that's exactly what this reminds me of. A very interesting game, though. Um, do you know about this game already? I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. The command center. I don't want to go up the stairs yet. And I want to see. He never talked about him. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I want to see if there's anything else. I don't think so. I loved it a great deal. Very cool go up. Command center. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Always take your time to look around. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of details. I'm wondering, like, how much you can actually miss in the game that's not, like, interactable like this. How I want to remember my brother. Okay. By Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. <laughs> oh, we have a broken leg. Or ankle or something. Ankle, I guess. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. <laughs> and he did. Oh, lovely. Oh, I see. 
we're, we're, we're turning. <laughs> Can I jump off? It's a beautiful family and beautiful story. Mm -hmm. Also, in terms of beauty, the graphics and stuff are just very pretty too. Can I, well, let me jump off. I feel like that's a bad idea with a broken ankle, but how do I continue? Please? <laughs> I just like stop. No. Can't look around or anything. I can wiggle my legs a lot. At Barbara's funeral. Oh, there you go. Okay. He'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. Can we get off the swing, please? It's making me a little nauseous. <laughs> Only one of our legs is swinging now, and it's the broken one. Please let me off. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. It's both joysticks. Okay. I see. That took me a little bit. There we go. We got it. <laughs> I got there in the end. Calvin always wanted to fly. Stop! Calvin! Get off, Sabi! Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. <laughs> Maybe I always... if I hadn't said that. I keep forgetting to use both joysticks. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. Oh boy. Okay. I remember being a kid and always being terrified that I was gonna. That's what I want to remember I don't about know, my brother. Go too high or break or something like that. <laughs> He's gonna fall into the ocean and die, isn't he? Like the branch is gonna break, I guess, maybe? It's a very- oh god, okay. <laughs> the day he made up his mind to fly. And he did. Damn. 360 all the way. Wow. What a legend. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. I was always the opposite. I never wanted to. <laughs> hmm. After the funeral... Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. I see. What does that say? Fort Sam. Captured. Hmm. Okay, apparently I cannot leave. Oh, yes, because all the doors are insulated shut. And also locked. 
Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. I see. They do a really good job of, like, leading you to where you're supposed to. It's very rambunctious and adventurous. Very much so, yes. Oh, cute. Please interact. Thank you. Is that a pumpkin head? It is. The passages were a pretty tight fit. Can you imagine having to grow They'd up at the age been built for smaller hands and bellies? <laughs> Can you imagine having to grow up at the age of eleven, not only without your twin, but also half your room is in the Yeah, no. Nope. Not in the slightest. Uh, I guess we'll go here. Well, we'll unlock it first. I want to look at this. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. <laughs> I can see why. She had a doll made about her, of her. That's neat. Swan Lake. Oh, I'm guessing that'll just, yeah, take us back in. Okay. Pretty dress. Why is that not like I never thought about how rotted and disintegrated right now? Can I no, I can't. Okay. Barb Street. Dreadful stories. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death. I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Well, that's terrifying. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. Okay. As a child star. Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has been. <laughs> okay. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Yikes. Oh. Her biggest fan, Ed Perry's boyfriend. Oh, no. Was about to damage Oh, no. Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara. Got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Oh, no. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles in secret packages. <laughs> There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. Good to know. back in a sec. Twenty minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him. Right on cue. 
The voice acting is so good. Super creepy. Wait, why why does she have to get the key if he already went down to the basement? Uh okay, whatever. Seems like a plot hole to me. Not in the game's logic, but in this guy's logic. Imagine the worst. It's very good. It is very good, isn't it? <laughs> That's fun. Oh my god, this is super creepy. The gang's leader is the infamous bookman killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Oh, let's not. The old bitch rattled and grew stale. Oh dear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Red. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you She threw him out. But she kept a little something to remember him by. Oh? Barb, have you seen my other crush? Uh. And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later. Barbara! Walter? What's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. I feel like that joke's gonna be in bad taste. How do I, um... Oh, skeleton, okay. Oh, it's a little pot chair! That's so fun! Little pod chairs. Okay. Walter Finch. Walter, are you there? Walter. Orca's Island police describe the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. <laughs> Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. I returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. <laughs> Secret passage somewhere, maybe in the closet? Through a window? Ah, I see. She played her part beautifully. Oh, we're in Molly's room. Is she dead by now? Not going that way. Wouldn't that alert him? Okay. He wasn't moving, but she sensed this story might not be over yet. Pumpkin. I should have played this game for Halloween. Although, you know, like, Speed Jane Ghost is also very Halloween-esque, because ghosts. The hook man had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was... Is 
Where would... Where... How? <laughs> Inside the house. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself. She had a taste for stardom, but unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Riff, who disappeared the same night. Mm. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. They took it all pretty hard, but that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box, is all they ever found of her. Her ear. What? Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> if we open up the music box, are we gonna find Amy an ear? Should like that any <laughs> I do. As absurd as that comic was. <laughs> Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Speaking of puns, um, why are corpses not funny? Because they're dead serious. Ha ha ha. Anything else in this room? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I do like my bad jokes. Let's go back. He's thinking because all the humor is deadpan. <laughs> I guess That's now good I know too. why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. <laughs> Interact, please. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. So many books. Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Right, and that's all locked up. Okay. Down to the music box, I suppose. Curious about that room. Try this again. I mean, we already did it once, but I guess we didn't wind enough. Can I not? Can I not do anything with it? I can move my head briefly a little bit. Uh. I can't, like, back out of it. Wait. Oh! Okay, well, we can open that still. There we go. That was kind of weird. Saving. Are there any, like, collectibles in this game? I feel like this would be the type of game where you would find collectibles. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> of 
pool table. I love playing pool. I haven't played pool in years. I'm really glad that this game is taking place during the day and not during the night. Because if it was during the night, I would be freaking out. <laughs> Mom said the basement was off limits. Unless I wanted another tetanus shot. Ah. Uh, so we can go that way. Nothing really to interact with at all. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. Do you play the unfinished lawn? I have not. No. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. <laughs> yeah, she sure was. <laughs> was the game this development team made before? Oh, really? Interesting. Maybe I'll have to check it out. Oh, this is super creepy. Can't say I like this. Cannot say I enjoy this. Um, they've only made the two games so far, but both are very good. Interesting. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. Is it kind of like the same format as this? Oh, this is super creepy. I do not like this. She said after Barbara Can died, we not he be got here? as far away as he could. Oh, it's like a bunker. And... If there's a pattern in all these stories, I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Walter! Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. 30 years? Oh my gosh. On that first day, after the shaking started, oh, I, I didn't see. think I'd survive a week. I can't believe he survived a week. There's so much stuff in here that would could fall and hit him. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Come on. Having a schedule, living for today. Well, long life given this one. I always expected yeah. to be yeah. dead tomorrow. If you wait long enough, you can be used to anything. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. I love how they've done the text. It's so cool. And then one day, everything just... Stop. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I yeah. have to leave. Well, you know? I still can. I would be done waiting too. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. You can do it. Go to freedom. I know it's out there somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara and Molly and Calvin.
Maybe this is all a mistake. Okay. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. That's super cool. I love the text effects. I think that's my favorite part so far. The first one is like this, and it's a good story with puzzle elements. Okay. Whatever's out there, I want you to know. Interesting. I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. Wholesome. I don't mind if I only have a year left. I feel like we should not be standing on the train more. tracks, though. Can we not stand here, please? For a single week. I'd be happy with one new day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was kind of figuring was going to happen. That sucks. It was such good and hopeful dialogue. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Hmm. Poor Walter. Oh, saved. What does that sound? I cannot see anything. Am I going the wrong way? Should I have continued on? Oh my god, I can't see anything. Okay. <laughs> I feel like we should turn some lights on. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. We're still missing a couple people, so. Remember how I was happy that this was happening during the day? <laughs> it's like it heard me. <laughs> I laughed as you said that. Because now I can't see anything. I knew the sun was already setting. <laughs> awesome. I don't know where to go. We've yet to go in there. Cannot interact with the door. Should I like go back down to the basement? Where did Walter go? Oh, okay, so I definitely went the wrong way. Well, time to try and get there in the dark. <laughs> Suddenly there's like a haze going on. Like 20 minutes after you're marking how well the game shows you where to go. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty ironic. <laughs> I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Just go the opposite way. Can we open this? Yay, we can. 
And it, to be fair, it did show me where. Oh, he has a little, like, a painting. That's kind of sad. It did show me where. I'm just being silly. <laughs> The curse. Hmm. <laughs> Great, thank you. <laughs> Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. Can I look at the titles? Protection from demons. Warding away spirits. The dark defense. Okay. That's a little suspicious. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house, I can only imagine what else she was hiding. Yeah. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Trying to bury something that's still alive. <sighs> now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. Walter was very much affected by all his sibling circumstances, especially Barbara. Yeah, and like, fair enough. Just, jeez. I found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. Oh, the hat. The little train. Lights over there. Ooh, pretty moon. Are there stars? There are stars. I love stars. Could I interact with the grave? No. Do we just, like, walk off? Will it let me just walk off? I mean, there's a trail right here. I see that. But can I just walk off? No, I can't. <laughs> Hide away from the world in fear of a curse would come for him the moment he uh, took a step out for safety. Yeah. That's sad. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. Hmm. But I thought you should know about your family. Oh, that's super creepy. And the history you're a part of. Can I go this way? No. Oh, I'm... Okay, there we go. I was stuck on a rock. <laughs> Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably The water looks right so now. beautiful. It really does. This game is very pretty. I love the forest that you walk through at the beginning. I think the people in these stories believed them. For what that's worth. we go back to the house and when you look at the house that history of imagination and mm -hmm. stubbornness and madness any of it seems possible Go that way. Can we go through here? No, we can look through here though. Kind of. <laughs> I think we've been surrounded by death 
for so long, we've just gotten used to it. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting a house? Yikes. It's kind of a long way down. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but the pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. I get that. Three of the gerbils are mine, and two had been my fault. Let's not linger there, <laughs> please. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Molly's an interesting character. By far the creepiest. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. Mm -hmm. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Oh, I can zoom in. Okay, cool. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Am I just going backwards? I'm guessing I am. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday. And find everything out for myself. Treehouse. Well, kind of. But looking back on it now. Do you have a favorite family member? Edie, for sure. She's super cool. If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, <laughs> I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Oh, I see. Can I climb? That seems like a... This seems like a terrible idea. Did you not catch that earlier? No. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. They were both pretty intense. <laughs> Lovely. We saw Fox earlier. That was cool. On a calendar. In Molly's room. Dawn. Made for smaller legs, smaller bellies. This when I'm yes, sir. only one, maybe These I should say two of us. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, I kind of got that she was writing this to like her future I child or something. It's a hunting trip, Dawn. Shooting is strongly encouraged. <laughs> um, but I didn't realize she was like currently pregnant. I don't know why. I should have clued in on that probably, but that's fine. Well, I can't, like, 
Just want to get a shot of you, Don. Then we can take off. Ah, I see. There we go. What? Is it good foreshadowing? It's it is. Too early, Dad. Perfect. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Please just oh. take the damn picture. Hey, language. I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. <laughs> I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. That camera's older than you are. <laughs> Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. <laughs> I also like it when you really only really You're notice right, Dad, it in it's hindsight. starting to clear up. Mm -hmm. it's still freezing though. Wish this wasn't blurry. Pretty water. I love water. Not as much as I love trees though. I love trees. Nothing quite like being outside. <laughs> take well, another photo of him. Picture of you. I do hey! <laughs> That's a keeper. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, there I've he is. been out here in 20 years. Don, don't you think you could find something more <laughs> interesting to photograph? I want to try and read that. I can't focus on it. Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. You don't need to waste any more film on me, kiddo. Fine, fine. Fish? Your grandpa Sven taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. Is that so? Wait a minute, check the map. sure what it wants me to take a photo of. Pacific Northwest is one of the most beautiful places I've ever visited. It's very pretty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Could have been Coffee Cup. What is that? take pictures of everything until <laughs> until it continues Dad. oh there we go we found it also the bird before you take the shot let me get a picture of it on your target. Let me get behind you. <laughs> Probably good if you're shooting a gun. Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you'll need to be strong. Now keep yourself squared up, elbows down, like we practiced. Whenever you're ready. Great shot, Don. His face is super creepy there. I'm proud of you, Don. 
Always remember that, okay? Oh, I can move him. Okay. Can I go straight up to the camera? Deer is delicious. I've not had it. Which is surprising because there's so Sorry, many Don, deer in BC. The timer. Oh, oh, there's a okay. <laughs> there's so many deer in BC and like deer hunting is a big thing. But I've never had deer. Oh, that's how. Okay. Dad, it, it's twitching. I think that's it's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about Dad. Oh! Oh shit. Okay. Yikes. Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Hmm. There's a door Sam there. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. <laughs> I guess we're all afraid of something. Okay, so there's a little door there, but I want to look around in here a little bit more. See if Instead there's anything of hiding else. from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Okay. Let's continue on. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Oh. Oh no. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, I want to go back. Do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. Nice basic choice. This is all I can do. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm a frog. Oh, I'm a frog. My hands over, Gregory. It's time to. Hold on, sweetie. Hello? A frog. Sam, I told you I don't want to talk right now. I wonder what he saw. Oh, depth perception is weird. Upside down. Can I make him right side up? Come on, we can push him. We can push him over. There we go. Perfect. There we go. I want to get up there. There we go. We got it. <laughs> Help Mr. Whale. Good job. <laughs> We did it. But I worried about the baby being too happy. I'm trying 
time to turn that over as well. Not working out very well. <laughs> oh, I guess it's just bubble bath. They just have to move it around. I know you did everything you could. Maybe if I hadn't called that night. I wish you could have told us about the world he saw. Get the duck. Get the duck. Oh. Mr. Whale. But I know what happened wasn't your fault. I'm sure he's happy. Oh dear. And you want me to be happy too. Good luck, Kay. Love, Sam. So I'm guessing he drowned in the bathtub yikes hmm. is there anything in that drawer no i can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry and yet a poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard <laughs> that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Gregor is the only member that is skippable in the story. You can walk by the curb and get a new one. I see. That makes sense. Hmm. Flying a kite! Oh man, I haven't flown a kite in years! That'd be fun to do again. Oh. My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. This is cool. I like this. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I now pronounce you husband hmm. and wife. You may kiss the bride. Somehow our kite didn't get stuck behind the totem pole. <laughs> Last person I saw play this game spent 15 minutes before they flew the kite into any of the words. Confused on what to do with the kite, they kept trying to warp around the totem pole. Oh, or wrap, wrap. I see. Um, although I'm not sure exactly what to do next, because I can't interact with those. Anything above me? Nope. Can I crash it? Not really. <laughs> just totally wreck whatever event's going on by just crashing it into the building. I see. I see it. When the time for photos I see came, it. Dad ordered him to come here. Hey, look who it is! Hello, hello. Sign held up his middle finger. <laughs> Welcome to a very interesting game. The geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Found the words. 
rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. What a great, what great presentation. It is, right? Who well as well, indeed. Oh, I see the other words. Oh, this is very cool. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, make the music louder. Yikes. <laughs> I wish that. Look at us destroying the place with a kite. Okay, we can't interact with the words at all. Um, I finished watching every tutorial. <laughs> So we can't go after that. We can't deal with the words. Can I... There we go! We have to go in the door. We got it. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't. Until we found you. Yikes. Yikes! She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. <laughs> Yikes, okay. Well, I didn't realize there was a shelf right there. <laughs> uh, I was also very upset for how many. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Oh, it's a climbing wall. That's neat. I like that. Moved up to the loft after her brothers died. The game's been good. Um, it's At the a time. It was as far away as she could get. It's a very interesting game. Um, I don't know if you know much about it at all. Um, but we're seeing how all of her family members died because she's the last one left, and her family has a curse, so they all died in really weird ways. It's essentially a series of unfortunate events, but game form. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Um, I also have been doing some thinking. I'm going to whisper you actually did. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, I watched someone play through the whole thing. It's a great game. It's very interesting. Yeah. I really, I really like Edie. She reminds me of a family member. <laughs> Fly to India! Neat. Is there anything else in here? Yes, there is! Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. That makes sense. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Louis was born a year later. Very pretty game, too. When my dad died, I don't think Mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. And to see kids in the house again. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. Normal? Our family history fact or fiction? Oh man. That'd be a hard one. Cannot open that.
glue is rolls. Reading is a hoot. Put it in last. The beginning of the end was Milton's tenth birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. Break in. I think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. <laughs> We're doing pretty well for a pregnant lady. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. Okay. Oh, I love flip books. Chew. Milton. Four when Milton disappeared. Okay, I was about to ask how what happened to him, but he just straight up disappeared then. It's very pretty. Can't. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Had to be in the right Mom angle. Spent months searching for my brother, and she sealed the doors. I guess we're done here. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Oh, I trapped myself. That's silly. <laughs> Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. This is a gorgeous treehouse, right? I'm quite jealous of it. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Let's check out this way first. A bit more than a treehouse, a tree fort. Full fort, even. It has a boat! <laughs> okay, so we can go in there. That's basically it. Very trippy. Lewis's room smelled very, <laughs> very familiar. That part of him lived on. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. <laughs> he died a lot. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting logo. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, 
shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Can't say I enjoy we kept working cutting fish family. heads off. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... Wander. There we go. Okay. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. No, up. Okay. Grab. <laughs> this is strange. About. Then something moved. Bats. And toads. We, um, okay. This is a weird, very strange mechanic, but it's fine. And things that have not names. Yeah, we're getting backed up a little bit. Hold on, let's catch up. He knew it was all in his head. Oh, I missed. <laughs> oh, my brain does not I like to think serious. like this. I had hoped he'd find himself. But he found something more. I worried about him then. This is so... What an interesting game. Oh. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical. Tireless. Focus. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. It's important to know how to clean fish. Great skill. I even encouraged. Yeah, I guess so. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he doggo. Don't bring a doggo into a game about death, please. Come on, friend. Follow me. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. <laughs> and songs for them to play. I like about music. starting a band. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. There you go. Hold on. <laughs> he no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. Such as? He held an election for mayor. And he won. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. Nostopia. Go, Mayor! <laughs> conquer a city, then immediately Hey, it's Mike emo. Mike's emo. I would love a dance emo. New Louisville. New Louisville? Can I dock there? No, it doesn't look like it. St. Louis. 
we started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis. <laughs> Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. That one's good. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Imagine losing that election in the city in your mind. It could happen in this family forming inferiority complex. Could very well happen. Yeah. Very in much Lewis so. Camp, he heard rumors of a handsome queen. Beautiful prince. Handsome queen. What a surreal game, too. The queen was on her own quest for... Radiant rainbows! We're going... We're going for the rainbows. I... We Radiant already dealt rainbows. with the... <laughs> eel tentacle thing, so... <laughs> with Molly. Oh! Try that again. He followed the sound of her. No! Oh well. Silver harp. It's not normal. So. Silver harp. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. Oh, this is so strange. He knew the world was all in his imagination. Oh god, there's so many. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I catch up. <laughs> but he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. Can I look at my face? Okay. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping sand, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Oh, we're no longer chopping fish. Okay. in the lockers maybe the one that's open wide <laughs> imperial palace man i could the go for some chinese food we know. maybe i should order chinese food tonight i think it pained him to remember lewis the cannery worker That's a lot of dead fish. That's a lot of dead fish. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Oh. I don't know if we should walk up there. But, um... Am I supposed to? Yeah. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. Mm -hmm. The palace would be packed with his companions. Including the wise calico who'd insisted on advising him. <laughs> I 
like you could write a whole paper on just the design techniques this game uses? Yeah, oh, absolutely. A lot of thought went into it. His queen waited, holding his crown. This section started with chopping fish, and now we're here. <laughs> yep. We sure are here. There's only one thing left to do. Moving very slowly too. Uh huh. Bend down his head. Uh huh. Well. Okay. I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. Yikes. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Hmm. He's got a gamer keyboard. Cannot go out the door, but that's fine. No, 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 don't go back in. I want to go down the ladder, please. Free story is wonderfully woven. It really is. It's very well done. Letter. There we go. We got it. Oh. Okay, well, I guess we're not going that way. <laughs> uh, that's kind of an issue. How do I get up there? Was it in the room and I just didn't see it? Guess we'll go back in. Ah, I see stairs to my left. There we go, we got it. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. we'd stayed but I understand why we left coffee my mom ended up leaving everything behind Teach to learn, Don Finch. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. So many ladders in this game. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Tell us. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. 
Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown ups have to argue. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last. I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. I love Edie. Favorite character. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. I love Edie too. She's when just my so mom's cool. The library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. We can finally go in the library. I want to since the start of the game. The thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? History of the Finches. No, no, what the, no, open. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. I got turned around. Oh. <laughs> For a while, I wandered. I started seeing things. Mm -hmm. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Maybe. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and- Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. And I never saw great-grandma Edie again. Hi, Edie. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. <laughs> That's neat. A few years went by. She started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the 
rest happen pretty quickly. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I wasn't sure if they were gonna rotate it or not. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. It's really hard to do when you go fast in a car. My arm always went all the way back to the back of the window. <laughs> That's funny. This journal was supposed to be for you. Oh, this is weird. Well, I hope you'll never see it. <laughs> I just want to meet you. We're Tell being you all the birthed, stories aren't we? <laughs> or something. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask. But I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Hmm. Interesting. And that's that. Maybe? Oh, interesting. That's kind of neat. What a game. What a game. Congratulations. Thank you. That was wild. That was not what I expected it to be an achievement called the end of everything i don't really know what what i expected from that game but it wasn't this um i'm pleasantly surprised though interesting that they start you off with molly and um it's at least to me it's by far the creepiest one <laughs> Yeah, very interesting. Yoshi, well, sorry, remind me what that one game was that you were talking about? The, uh, the other game? Because that'd be, that might be kind of cool to look into. Unfinished Swamp, right, thank you. Because if it's as short as this is, then... Oh, we got another achievement called Thanks, Johan. Um, <laughs> that's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, if it's as short as this one is, it might be kind of cool to do it on another Saturday. The light switches were labeled. mask. I have a game similar to this. Let me find the name. Yeah, for sure. Hmm. I don't know. I definitely expected it to be 
don't know. I don't know what I expected. <laughs> but it was very, very good. It was very well done. Beautiful game. Very well written, too, and just creative. Very artsy. But in a very good way. Gone home? Okay, interesting. Should make a note of that. Gone home and an unfinished swarm. Not very many playtesters. I mean, there are, it's kind of a decent amount, I guess. I loved all the dialogue. It was very unique. It was cool. I love it when um, games incorporate dialogue into the visuals as well. But like, well as well. Not like, it's just there. The end. Replay story options now available. Select either to play from the beginning. Oh, interesting. Cool. They do a very good job with this game. They really do. Congratulations again. Thank you. Cool. Well, I guess that's that. Um, that was a really cool game. I'm glad I decided to play that. It's of that genre of game I recommend if someone is two to four hours free and wants to be sad for an evening. Perfect. Even though it'd be a morning, because Saturday morning for short games. Um, so, you know, if you want to be sad for the rest of the day, then perfect. <laughs> awesome. Um, okay, let's see if there's someone to raid, I guess. Um, that was a good stream. I'm very happy with how that went. Mm, not particularly. I might just end in that case. Yeah, I think we're just gonna end. Um... That was fun, though. Well, I don't know if fun is necessarily the right word to describe that. It was an experience um, that I enjoyed. There. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I think the next stream will probably be Wednesday for Hollow Knight again. Um, I don't think there's very, ma very many streams left of Hollow Knight, which is kind of interesting. See, no one live is see it's... Right? I know. Like... I have, like, Jelly's live, but I don't really feel like raiding into Jelly's stream right now. It's kind of not really with the mood, right? <laughs> Thank you for streaming. Wish you all a great rest of your days. You as well, Yoshi. Um, I was hoping Gemma was going to be live so I could raid into him, his stream, but I guess not. Uh, which is fine. Um, enjoy your weekend, everyone. Nice to be here for almost a full stream for once. Yeah, it was nice to have you. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out. Um, I will see everyone later. Have a nice day. I've seen you in about three hours. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, goodbye everyone.